Hello friends, in my previous video, I tried to grow pineapple and garlic in Coca-Cola and the result was shocking. None of these two plants was able to grow any roots or shoots in Coke. So why can't you grow plants in Coke? As usual, I set up a simple experiment to investigate this. The results will surprise you. Share some fun facts about Coke throughout the video. So be sure to watch at the end. Let's go. Coca-Cola has many ingredients and two of them come to mind as the possible culprits. The first is phosphoric acid, which is used to add tartness to Coke and acts as an acidulant to slow down the growth of microorganisms. Fun fact, did you know that Coke is more acidic than lemon juice or vinegar? The sugar and to a lesser extent the CO2 or carbon dioxide in coke max and balance the acidity. Talking about sugar, the other major ingredient in regular as opposed to diet coke is sugar which of course makes the drink sweet. In this video, I'm going to focus on the sugar since it's rather easily accessible. When you look at the label on the bottle of a regular coke, it says 27 grams of sugar per 250 ml of coke. This is like 7 teaspoons of sugar per 250 ml or 108 grams of sugar per liter of coke. So I went ahead to prepare a solution containing 27 grams of sugar in 250 ml of filtered water. I filled 3 plastic bottle halves with a sugar solution and another 3 with filtered water. Then, I got six previously cured pineapple crowns ready for planting in these filled containers. I placed one pineapple crown in each half bottle, making sure the bottoms of the tops, I mean the pineapple crowns, were immersed in the liquid in each container. Fun fact alert! Did you know that coke can be used to boost the composting process? The acid in coke assists in the breakdown of organic matter by microorganisms that are attracted by the sugar in coke. After three days, I checked on the plants. There was no sign of roots on the pineapple crowns growing in the sugar solution. However, the crown growing in water had developed some roots. All the crowns grown in sugar solution didn't have any roots whereas all those grown in water had roots. To be fully convinced about this, I decided to observe it for a few more days. I checked on the experiment again on day 6. The pineapple tops growing in water had grown more roots and the other roots had grown much longer. On the contrary, the tops growing in sugar had still not developed any roots. This was observed for all the pineapple crowns. If you are enjoying this video, put it on record by clicking the like button. Also, consider subscribing for free to support our channel if you have not already done so. Now, it's quite clear that the high sugar concentration in regular soda is the main reason why you cannot grow or root plants in coke. The effects of phosphoric acid cannot be ruled out though and it would require another experiment to eliminate it as a possible cause. The reason why plants cannot grow in a solution with high sugar concentration is that plants need to absorb water for cell expansion and growth. However, by the process of osmosis, water would diffuse into the surrounding cell only if the concentration of solutes in the water or external solution is lower than that of the cell. That is to say, water will move from an area of high water potential to a region of low water potential. Now, since the concentration of sugar in the solution is likely higher than or at least equal to that in the cells of the pineapple, no absorption of water will take place and therefore growth will be inhibited. This shows that the high sugar concentration in coke 
and most other sodas should be of concern and further explains why you cannot really quench your thirst with coke contrary to what is advertised luckily there are diet options for those who cannot live without soda thanks for watching check out the full video of the original coca-cola experiment using the link in the video description or end screen videos or garden experiment playlists see you in our next video until then it's adios from me